You know, I've had people ask me, are you going to pick college football games like you've done recently? Are you going to have the picks? Are you going to pick? The answer is yes, we're going to have picks. Each week I'm going to pick a series of games going against the spread, and you might notice that I don't have the old-fashioned coin with me. Last year, the coin and I went head-to-head -head and ended up finishing in a tie. Well, you don't see the coin here because the other day I had to go to 7-Eleven, get a big gulp, and I needed to cover part of the tax for that big gulp, and the old-fashioned penny was in my pocket, spending, bye-bye coin. But anyway, that's not going to stop us from picking games. And let's go ahead and begin. And remember, my picks are strictly for entertainment purposes. Going to begin with a Thursday night game, top 25 matchup between LSU and Mississippi State in Starkville. LSU, doesn't matter what year it is, Les Miles always has them playing at a high level. Mississippi State, one of those up-and-coming teams in college football, but last week wasn't quite uh, ready yet for uh, a big win as they lost to Auburn. Well, Mississippi State... They've got some issues on the defensive side. And in the meantime, LSU, better players, better athletes. They've played in bigger games. So LSU, I like them to win on the road Thursday night in Starkville. Give me LSU minus the four points. And a Friday night game, Boise State. Highly ranked Boise State playing at Toledo. And holy Toledo, Toledo almost beat Ohio State. Came close but fell five points short. Do not think that Boise State has not been watching that game film of Toledo and Ohio State from a week ago to use it to their advantage. Toledo almost caught Ohio State off guard. They're not going to catch Boise off guard. Boise has a better offense than Ohio State. Boise's playing at a higher level. Boise to win minus the 20 points. Now let's get into the Saturday games. The Saturday games will begin in the southeast part of the country with Ohio State at Miami. Believe it or not, the Hurricanes, despite the fact that they still have some players suspended for this game, despite the fact that Ja'Cory Harrison, Miami quarterback, is listed as probable, Miami's actually favored by two and a half points. Wrong team's favored in this, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Miami, to me, is just an average ball club other than the ground game. They've got a good ground game, but I think they've got problems in so many areas, including lack of depth. Ohio State, I think, last week got a wake-up call from Toledo, narrowly escaping that game with the win. I think they got the message now, and Luke Fickle will have Ohio State ready to play and win on the road. So Ohio State plus the two and a half. Tennessee is at Florida. Will Muschamp and the Gators hosting Tennessee. Tennessee, offensively, I think, has improved from last season. Defensively, not so sure about that. When in doubt, take the home team, which in this case I'm going to. I think Florida, um, with the offense coordinator Weiss and up-and-coming head coach Muschamp, I think Florida will win this game. I think they'll cover the 9.5 against Tennessee on Saturday afternoon in the Swamp. And you have Kansas at Georgia Tech. Last year, the Jayhawks shocked Georgia Tech. This year, though, not expecting it, though. Kansas, they've uh, not looked too bad in the beginning. But Georgia Tech, you know, has had revenge on their minds in this ball game. The triple option this time, I think, for Georgia Tech will work. And in Atlanta, I look for Georgia Tech minus the 15 and a half points to defeat Kansas. Kansas' first road game of the season. East Coast now, we're going to talk about Auburn and Clemson. Battle of the Tigers. Last season, game went to overtime with Auburn winning. So you know Clemson's capable of uh, pulling off the victory. Clemson's a field goal favorite. I look for the Tigers at home to get the revenge against Auburn after the Tigers have had two close calls, have won both. But eventually, luck has to run out, and this time playing away from Jordan-Hare Stadium. Auburn's going to miss Jordan-Hare Stadium because I think Clemson gets them on the road. So look for Clemson to cover in this game minus a three. Maryland, they won Labor Day night against Miami. Now they host maybe the Big East favorites in West Virginia. I like Maryland at quarterback, and I like Maryland at home to cover the two against West Virginia. So give me Maryland minus the two. And South Carolina hosting Navy. Couple of 2 0 teams. South Carolina just came off an emotional win at Georgia. Navy has that triple option threat. This game's going to be a lot closer than what you might think, even though it's a home game for South Carolina. I look for South Carolina to just squeak by Navy, but 17 points is too many, so give me Navy plus the 17. Midwest, talking about Notre Dame hosting Michigan State, the Fighting Irish. Wow, um, terrific offense, but boy, very suspect on defense. And that's not a good recipe against a very good and balanced Michigan State 
um, offense. The game's in South Bend, but I look for Michigan State to uh, win. And at the very least, give me Michigan State plus the four and a half. Notre Dame's a favorite in this one. And Arizona State at Illinois. You can make a coin flip on this game. Point spreads at minus one. When in doubt, take the home team. Arizona State beat Missouri last week, but now they got to play on the road, so I look for the Fighting Illini to win at home against Arizona State. So give me Illinois uh, minus the uh, one point. And you have Nebraska hosting Washington. Nebraska is a 17-point favorite. Nebraska got all they wanted from Fresno State a week ago. Nebraska's going to have a little bit too much balance in this game. But I think Washington, because of the fact that they throw the ball and throw it a lot, I think there will be a lot of points in this game. Don't get me wrong, Nebraska will win, but I look for Washington to cover the spread. That spread's too high. It's 17 points. So give me Washington plus 17. And you have Iowa at home against Pittsburgh. The Hawkeyes are going to be steaming mad after losing uh, last week the Cyhawk Trophy to the Cyclones. So I look for Iowa to bounce back playing at home against a Pittsburgh team that has not impressed me much so far in September. Look for Iowa, take it to the bank, to win minus the three. And around these parts, you have Oklahoma State and Tulsa, a late kickoff, a 9 o'clock start. And Tulsa still is not at full strength. Demarish Johnson, their everything returner and receiver, uh, still serving suspension. And last year, Tulsa gave up over 60 points against Oklahoma State. Nothing really has changed as far as the personnel. I'll look for OSU in what may not even be really a road game because the Cowboys will have a lot of fans in Tulsa. Oklahoma State, minus the 20. Oklahoma State should win big. And then West Coast, USC hosting Syracuse. Uh, the Trojans, minus 16 and a half. And a game like this, I don't know. USC, um, not very impressive so far. I know that they're 2-0, but they had the escape against Minnesota from a couple of weeks back and came close to losing to Utah. Um, they'll probably win this one, but it'll probably be in September fashion just getting by against Syracuse. So I look for USC to win, but 16.5 is way too many points. Syracuse plus a 16.5. And, and finally, Texas and UCLA. You know the Longhorns are looking for revenge after what happened last year against the Bruins. But ironically, last season, Texas only lost one true road game. Their problems were on the road. They lost five at home. Um, another reason why I like Texas in this game, minus the uh, three and a half, Garrett Gilbert's not playing. So that's an upgrade right there. Ash and uh, McCoy will be uh, splitting time at QB from what I've heard. Look for Texas to make adjustments against UCLA's running attack that killed them last season. And Texas, again, recently has played better on the road than at home. So give me Texas minus the three and a half. Now, you might be saying, how come we haven't talked about Oklahoma, Florida State? That's because that's on my weekly matchup show. So check it out on this very webpage. That does it for the Blitz. We'll come back next week and go over these picks and have some new picks. So long.